What's up guys? Figured I'd give you a little bit of an update, let you guys know what's up. I know I have been the worst with my uh, upload frequency. I like to pride myself on being a YouTuber that uploads a lot of stuff and is not lazy. And man, have I been the complete opposite of that over the past... I want to say like two to three months. My The videos I have put out just haven't really been that good in my opinion. And just really infrequent. Just bad, man. Just, uh, I don't know. Uh, I know it's sort of a dead period for me right now. Uh, some of that will change. The new Call of Duty is coming out, which I am pretty excited for. I like Call of Duty. I know it's kind of crazy to say that you like Call of Duty, but I do. Um, I hope that's good. I am not super excited for it. I think the character customization is pretty cool. The thing that I... I'm just worried about the maps, man. The, the maps continually get smaller and smaller and more random and more chaotic every single year. Uh, Black Ops 2 was slightly better than Modern Warfare 3 when it comes to map design, but still, there's, there's these just tiny, small maps that I really dislike. I wish they'd go back to the Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 1 style of maps where there's big, nice lines of sight, uh, and an intelligent player can play the map to his advantage and always have the advantage in almost every gunfight you come into. That's what I like. And these smaller maps, like, uh, what's that map? Uh, the, the ship map, the, the really tiny ship map, and the really tiny, uh, like, there's only a few maps that you can really play intelligently. Uh, the, the big one is Raid. Raid is the best map they've, they, on that game. That's why it gets voted every time, because it's such a good map. It's small, it's chaotic, but it's, you can play it intelligently, and you can flank, and there's decent lines of sight. It's just the perfect map on that game. But most of the maps are, they're these small, crazy, chaotic games. And I did like Black Ops 2, but... Really, I really like Black Ops 1, man. That game was the shit. I fucking loved that game. I played the hell out of that game. I had a 5.7 KD at one point. Like, legit, when I was playing really hard, I had a 5.7 KD. But then I started fucking around with a ballistic vest or a ballistic knife and stuff like that. But anyway, off topic. But that's why you guys like these. So anyway, what have I been doing? Um, well... Uh, I've been playing a good bit of WoW recently, but I'm, I'm getting a little bit frustrated with, uh with just finding people to play with. I find really good players that went to arena with me, and I play with them. We do well. We go, hey, let's play again. And then they just never log on. Ever again. Like, we'll play, like, two or three times, do really, really well, and then they will just never log on ever again. Week later, I have them on Real ID. It's not like they, like, transferred or, like, are playing another character. No, I had these guys on Real ID, and they just fucking disappear every single time for some reason I cannot find a warlock so I'm, I made one I fucking made one I don't know why I couldn't find a warlock I, I found two warlocks one of them plays once at, like he's online because he bots which I don't even I used to be like a white knight when it came to that shit but at this point they, they don't enforce it fuck them bot all you want um, so he's on like all the time but he's never actually there and then the other guy literally plays like once a week for an hour. And all the other warlocks, they just aren't, they aren't like that great. Um, they're, they're not up to the level of those two guys. And when I play with those two guys and with a decent healer, we do really well. 2100, 2100 plus. Great. You know, that's top, uh, that, that's what be, that puts me in the top like one, 120, 130 warriors in the US. Puts me on the leaderboards, which is pretty cool. But they never, they're never on, so I end up just playing with like random people, which is sort of frustrating because I like to play WLS, and I, I'm not really a fan of KFC or uh, like st stupid bullshit like Double Warrior. I'd rather just play WLS, WLD. Um, I like to try Warrior Mage, but I just haven't found a really good mage. That comp seems to be really dependent on the mage because the mage has to stay alive since you don't have that many peels as a warrior. Um, you don't want, like, spammable fear or, like, rogue, crazy, cheap shot the entire team kind of peels. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, so I've just been a little frustrated with that. Just, uh, I'm, I'm looking for teammates, guys. If you're a really good player in general, like a really good uh, lock in particular, if you're a really good lock, I will play with you. Please, please, for the love of God, put your character name, your real ID down below. Uh, if you're a really good lock, and I will add you and I will play with you because... They don't exist. For good, good war. I let me rephrase this. If you're a good warlock that logs on for more than an hour a week, please put your character name and real ID in the, in the thing below. That'd be awesome. 
because uh, I can't find any. Can't find any warlocks that actually play the game. They're good. Jesus. Oh yeah, so I've been leveling up a warlock. Uh, I am a little bit hesitant to say that there's going to be warlock videos because I might just fail really hard at warlocks like I did with DKs. I thought I would be a really good DK. Turns out that the class was just not for me. The the pet, the, I feel like the warlock pet is a little bit more manageable than the DK pet just because you're at range and you can see the field a little bit better. But for some reason, the, the DK pet, I could just not do it. I know they've changed it. I could probably do it this patch because they changed the way the gnaw mechanic worked, uh, works. But the, uh, the, the, I just never had enough pet energy to gnaw. And when I did want to gnaw, I was out of range. It just, I can never figure out the pet stun. And that's such a pivotal part of the DK class. I just, there's some sort of mental disconnect. Couldn't do the pet, the DK pet. The lock pet seems a million times easier. Yeah, the only thing you have to worry about other than, I mean, obviously there's positioning, like, you don't want to, like, position your pet into a blade storm or anything retarded like that. But, uh, like, spell lock, it's at ranged, uh, it, it you don't have to worry about your warlock pet energy, or at least from what I've seen, you just basically always have enough to spell lock, which is nice. Uh, it's so much more manageable, and so much easier than the DK pet. And also, because you're at range, you can more easily see your pet when you're up close in melee range, it's really hard to see where your pet is when it's over there in Africa, like, all the way downstairs on Blade's Edge or some crazy shit. Uh, but then again, I might suck ass at a Warlock, but I think I'll have fun with it. But it's probably, it's gonna be hard, because I've never played a ranged class before in WoW, and I've never played a caster before in WoW. So, it'll be interesting, but it should be fun, because a Warlock is a really high skill cap class, and, uh, Warriors are fun, but they are super easy. Like, they are the easiest class in the game because you don't have that much decision making. Uh, that doesn't mean you can't be good at a warrior, that doesn't mean, like, Vive is not better than me at a warrior, but it does mean that Vive is not that much better than me at a warrior than Azale would be better than me at a lock, if that makes sense. Like, the skill gap is not there. A 2200 warrior and the best warrior in the game are not that far apart. There's definitely a difference, but they're not that far apart when it comes to the actual gameplay of them playing a warrior. They might be, the, the best warrior in the game might be better when it comes to awareness and when it comes to uh, like communication, but when it comes to actually like, you hit mortal strike here and you pummel here and you intervene here, it's basically the same shit. 2200 and up, it's the same fucking shit. From what I've seen, I mean, you can manage your thunderclap and your deep wounds much better than other people, but it's basically the same shit. You don't have that much decision making. With like mages and hunters and uh, warlocks, you have like fear and counterspell and all, all these other crazy variables. Pet management, there's just so much more to do and so much more you can do. Uh, like, for example, so pretty much every class has an interrupt, but melee classes interrupt. There's not, there's not that much of a skill cap because you have to be in melee range of the person to do it. Whereas like with a warlock, you can lock out three different people pretty much the entire game. So you have a lot of decisions to make. You want to lock out this guy, this guy, or this guy. With a warrior, you can't really do that. You know, you, the, the guy that's in front of you is the only decision you make. Yes or no, on or off. You want to do it now or save it? Just stuff like that. But I do like the warrior class. I would still be playing the warrior class, but it is frustrating at some times where you're you come out of a game you're like I did everything I could do I don't know so yeah and another reason I'm, I'm saying it's the easiest class I know some warriors gonna be pissed off when I say this but come on I just came back to the game never played a warrior before and I am in the and when I play with my primary team I'm in the top 100 20 warriors when I was at like 2157 or some shit when I was playing with my primary team uh, I was in the top 120 warriors in the US Never played the class before ever. I feel like I have a good knack for it. I feel like I understand what I'm doing but Come on man like really I guarantee when I play a warlock. I'm not even gonna be close like ugh. so we'll see uh, I'm looking forward to trying it out. Maybe I'll be good at a Warlock. I doubt it at the start. I feel like I've got a pretty good UI. I know I'm, re I'm really into add-ons. I think it's amazing that people like Wreckful and all a lot of the top players play with no mods. That's incredible. That's next level shit. I get carried by my mods. I won't even deny it. 
But, uh, <clears throat> especially with a Warlock, I feel like it's a class that, uh, that you can definitely get a lot of aid from mods, and I plan on doing that to the fucking maximum potential. There's just some classes, man, it's like, let me drink some water. I've been talking a while. <clears throat> anyway, I feel like there's some classes that really, you don't have to have mods for. Uh, Warlock in particular is one class where, man, man mods really help with that class. At least I feel like maybe if you've been playing a Warlock for like eight years and you've got the timing down like, like that, and you just know when your stuff is up and ready, and you know your DRs, and you know the exact timing of your dots, and it's just all muscle memory, maybe you don't need them. But goddamn, you have a lot of shit to keep track of as a Warlock. Like, Jesus. As a warrior, you could probably play a warrior without mods fairly easily. You could probably play a rogue without mods fairly easy. Uh, I know as a feral druid, keeping track of all those buffs and debuffs was, was kind of hard, but they sort of made that a little bit easier now. Um, I'm trying to think of some other classes you just don't need mods for. I don't know, man. Warlock is definitely... Man, shout out to all you locks that play with no mods. Damn. That it's a lot of... Man, my UI is fucking crazy on my Warlock. There is just so much shit everywhere. It's just, my, my goal as a Warlock is just to have shit smacking me, and just information just pounding me in the face as much as possible. That's how I plan to do it. We'll see how it works out. I'll probably uh, mess with it a lot when I get to 90. I am at level 71 right now, 71, 72 on my lock. In like two days with no BOAs, I've just been pounding it out, listening to the podcast. Again, I have been working towards stuff towards videos but just not making them so yeah um where am i going with this uh warrior definitely gonna be playing it some more if you're a good warlock or a good player in general that you want to play something uh i always say warlock because I, I just like playing with warlocks i want to play with good enhanced shaman i really want to run turbo i think that'd be a lot of fun uh, I played it with uh, my Resto Shaman. He respect Enhanced for like a few games. We played it and did well, but he's not normally Enhanced. He has no Enhanced gear. Um, but I want to play that. Uh, KFC, I'll, I'll play it if you're a really good hunter, but it's not my favorite. But I'll still play it if you're good. It's just, you have to have a really good hunter to pull it off. Like a really good hunter, because the hunter is the target the entire game. And I don't know. It feels like you just have to have a really good hunter to pull it off. Uh, warrior may <clears throat> the thing with like warrior ranged class is that the range class has to be really good because they're gonna get just fucking trained, just fucking trained. Because I've got even when I run shockwave stormbolt, that's not really that good of peels when you can compare it to like a mage or a rogue or something like that that can really just peel like crazy. Uh, like, you know I don't have like spammable polys. I don't have, like spammable peels like some classes do. Uh, so it makes makes my teammates more important. And that's another thing that's frustrating about Warriors is like, my success as a Warrior is nearly 100% on my teammates. Because again, Warriors is a super low skill class. It's, you just do the same shit as long as I'm eating traps and doing crazy damage, then the rest is kind of up to my teammates. And the people I play with very, like it, it, it fucks with my rating so much. Like, if I play with, like, just some normal people, I'll be at, like, 1900 to 2k. Like, I'll be in, like, the, the early 1900s to 2k if I just play with some, some decent players. But if I play with, like, my primary team, it's just instant. Like, I do nothing different. It's just instant fucking, like, 20 upper 2100s. Just, just depending on who I play with. Just flip, flip of a switch. Play with these two guys, it's, we're here. Play with these two guys, we're here. Same comp, just, it's super dependent on my teammates. Uh, and as a lock, I feel like I, I can maybe help out more. I don't know, we'll see. So, yeah. Trying out a warlock, figured I'd try a ranged class before I totally throw in the towel with WoW. Uh, bottom line, man, I still just want a new game. WoW, I, I'm, I'm sort of enjoying it, but I need a new game. Just need a new game, and Wildstar is looking awesome, man. They, they've been putting out... I expect a, uh, a pretty big reveal soon. Hopefully the new classes. Uh, I was watching a live stream. If you follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I always tweet out this kind of stuff, so... Bitch, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I'm not going to link it, but I linked a... Uh, on my Twitter. Uh, I'm not going to link it. In the, Bitch, follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter and Facebook. 
I have my Twitter and Facebook analytics, and I and I find out how many people uh, that follow me unfollow me afterwards, and no one unfollows me on Facebook and Twitter. Every time somebody follows me, they always stay followed because I link the best shit. It's not just hey, I'm streaming like most people. It's all good, fucking streaming. <laughs> I don't ever link anything else interesting. Give me money. Uh, no, I actually link cool stuff. I feel like I feel like I link the best stuff. So follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Jeez. Uh, am I recording? I better be recording. Okay. Yes. Holy shit. I thought I thought I forgot to cut it on. Okay, so anyway, um, Wildstar, looking forward to it, having fun with WoW, but, uh, man, everybody is quitting the fucking game, like, this is the one, this is one of the best PvP seasons when it comes to balance in a long time, probably since Season 7, that doesn't mean the mechanics are good, doesn't mean the instant CC is crazy, but when it comes to overall balance, this is the best it's been in a long time. Like, people say warriors are overpowered, but they're only, like, 15% representation. Like, people say that's crazy. That's not really crazy. There, There's, what, 10 classes? So 10% is right where it should be, and, yeah, 15%. It's a little bit higher. Right? There's 10 classes, right? Whatever. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit higher than it should be, but it's not crazy, and they're a freshly buffed class, and they're, what, they're probably maybe the most popular class in the game, so... Come on, everybody's got one at this point, so of course they're going to be a little bit higher. Uh, the, the problem with the game right now is that there's just too much crazy shit. Everyone has abilities they shouldn't have. Why the fuck do priests have stealth? Why do warriors have a fucking 30-yard stun that you throw at somebody? Like, there is just... And that doesn't mean that, that, that they shouldn't have these things. I'm just saying, like, they're... like. D uh, gateway. Demonic gateway. What the fuck? Why is that a thing? Why do druids have a teleport? Why do feral druids have bubble? Like, everyone just has this, like, blown out of proportion shit. Like, if you told somebody in the Burning Crusade that mages were gonna have a thing where they could go back in time and pop their cooldowns again, people would be like, no way, dude. That's fucking retarded. That is just over-the-top ridiculous. But no! They go back in time and pop their cooldowns again. What? Like, everyone's just got crazy shit. So, in the next expansion, I feel like they, since they actually are, like, bringing in top PvPers to, to like, be like, hey, guys, we got to get some more time out of WoW. We just canceled fucking, what's that, what was that called? We just canceled Titan. I was going to say Titanfall. But, oh, shit, we got to. We gotta get like five more years out of this bitch, cause we just completely scrapped the thing we were working on since the end of TBC. Fuck. God, I can't believe they did that, man. Jesus. Man, Blizzard's in shambles. Jesus. They scrapped the game they were working on for like seven years! What? They just said, fuck it, we're starting over! Jesus, man. So anyway, I need to stop. This thing needs to stop. So, hope you guys enjoyed the vlog, and I will see you guys next time.